Hey guys, so now that spring is here, I took advantage of the many sales that the stores had, the beauty stores had, and I did some shopping. Um, I've really been into like body care and um, like summery perfumes and summery scents and things like that lately because it's been so cold for so long in New Jersey that I was just like anything to do with summer I wanted to like be around and smell like and so I did some shopping I did um I took advantage of the Sephora VIB spring sale as well as and <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick out of can you hear <laughs> but um I took advantage of the Sephora VIB spring sale as well as the um Ulta 21 days of spring sale I think that's what it was called um and then I also bought something in Vegas and I bought something on Nordstrom.com. So I'll show you everything. Have it all laid out here. No order as usual, just kind of put it all together on the table. So the first thing is this Laura Mercier um, Body and Bath Almond Coconut, Almond Coconut Milk Shuffle Body Cream. Looks like these. And I'll show you what it looks like in the jar. It is really expensive and I wasn't going to buy it. And I actually had it in my Nordstrom bag for a while. And when I checked out to buy something else, it was there. I totally didn't even realize it's still in my bag. I thought it's like in the safe for later. Um, like, you know, thing. And I accidentally bought it. And then when I smelled it, I decided to keep it. It smells really, really good. So it looks like this. And it smells like a bakery, like a you know, like a cupcake bakery, basically. You can definitely smell the coconut, the almond milk. It just, it smells really good. It's really moisturizing. I actually, I've used it maybe like five times on my body and it's really moisturizing and this scent lingers for a long time too. So if you like the smell, that's really good. I don't like the body lotions where, you know, after like five minutes, you don't smell anything anymore. Um, and I'm actually probably going to do what Jaclyn Hill says she does because I've seen her mention this as well Which is she said she puts it by her Kitchen sink I think and she just uses it as like a hand lotion after washing um, the dishes So I think I'm gonna do that too because it's just too pretty to like I feel like to use it all over I would go through it so quickly if I used it all over my body So I might just use it on my hands then another thing I also bought at uh, Nordstrom is this. It's the Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Re-Energizing Moisture Mask. I was looking for a mask that will help with the unevenness on my skin. Like I have little bumps on my forehead, on my chin. Like I have tiny little bumps. It's not pimples. It's not like anything crazy. But I just wanted something to help with that. And I looked up the reviews and I actually, um, a lot of people love this. And I've only used it once, so I can't really tell you how well it works, but I can tell you it smells so, so, so good. So good. Like, I can't... It smells like... It kind of reminds me of the Dolce & Gabbana, um, what is it called? Light blue perfume. And actually, now that I think about it, it smells just like that. It really... I have to read the reviews and see if anyone says that. It really smells like that, but it smells really good and it doesn't irritate my skin. My skin has been getting so dry. It used to be crazy oily and lately it's been so dry and it doesn't irritate it. <clears throat> it feels really moisturizing. You put it on, you leave it on for 10 minutes. I left it on for like two hours, then you wash it off. And after a while, it kind of like just gets into your skin and you almost don't feel it on top of your skin anymore. So I honestly almost forgot to wash it off because I didn't feel it as much. But um, it smells really good. I'll let you know in my... I'll do... I won't do uh, April favorites. I'll do May favorites. So if it works well, I'll mention this in that video. Then I got the... <clears throat> Laxiton Almond Skin Oil, and I've wanted that since the VIB sale in November, and I could not justify the price. I had the little sample of it. I haven't gone through it yet, so I finally, I finished the sample, and I got the big bottle, and I love this. And there's no smell like this. Like, the, their almond line has the best scent in skincare, I think, out of, like, every single other thing that's available in the stores. I love the smell. I love the texture. I love how, you know, it leaves your skin really soft and smooth, but it's not like crazy oily where you feel like, you know, like tacky and sticky. I love it. 
I've used it a bunch as you can tell I've gone through the whole entire sample of it the sample was like this size like this tall little bottle I used that within like a week like I really go through it and and I really love it so I'll definitely repurchase this when I'm done I might wait till the November VIP sale but definitely recommend it now I have this I this is something that I wasn't gonna buy because I have the perfume version of it and I figured why do I need two things that smell just the same it's the mist your uh, moisturizing body milk in the blooming bouquet scent and I have the perfume I love it I really do love it I've used, I use it all the time um, I think it's gonna be my wedding day perfume one day because it just smells so beautiful and happy and like summery and it just smells beautiful and I saw Casey Holmes um, review this she bought it and she talked about it in her on her snapchat and she said she loved it and so I wanted to try it out and it's a pretty big tab of it it actually it's pretty expensive it costs I believe $56 so it is expensive if you really love the scent might as well go for the perfume but it smells so incredible sometimes when you buy the perfume and then you buy the body butter or body lotion that goes with it it's a little too strong like it's it's a little bit different than the perfume and i usually hate the body butters or the body lotions whatever that come in the set of the perfume i hate that like it's drying it's it smells like alcohol it, i just don't like them this is amazing it's really truly like I bought it and I told my friend when she was over at my house, I was like, smell this, you're gonna buy it within like a second of smelling this, you're gonna love it so much. And she did, she loved it so much too. It's just such a, it smells just like the perfume basically, except in a body butter version and it's very moisturizing. I put it into my hands and I just put it like all over my arms and it smells really good. It lasts for a long time. And if you use, if you're going somewhere for like a long time, like the entire day or so and you want to use the perfume I would say use this along with the perfume and it's gonna last all day I really like it I also got these Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencils I got three of them but one of them I already opened so I'm just gonna show you the unopened ones these are the the, the ones that you sharpen and this is the color taupe and I got three because I bought it when it was on sale at Ulta. It was $12 as opposed to, I think, $22 or $24. So I bought three. And it's going to last me probably till the end of the year. So I figured might as well. Since it's on sale, then I got this. This I got in Vegas, actually. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. I got this because Kathleen Lights talked about it a bunch of times. Um, and she said it's really good. It helps dark circles, which I really have like I have bad dark circles So I wanted to try it. It was about $37, but I went to the actual store and the sales uh, Guy was really really nice and he gave me like literally a whole bag full of samples of all, all the stuff that they have So I'm still like trying them and using them But this is I like it. It's moisturizing. It smells good. It smells like like pharmaceutical grade skincare which makes me think it works <laughs> i don't know i just i like that scent you know um i've only used it for about a week or so since i've been back from vegas so i really can't tell you yet if it works well i'll again update you in my may favorites if i like it it'll be in it um but yeah i like it i like the texture i like the smell i like the container it feels cleaner than the little i used to use the i still use it the um clinique what is it all about ice cream where it's like a tub and you unscrew it and it just feels this feels a lot more sanitary you know because you don't go into the cream a bunch of times so like that then i got this mario budescu seaweed cleansing lotion and i got this because i love their seaweed clean their seaweed what is it seaweed moisturizing night cream i think it's called it smells incredible it really really like it smells so good it smells like a creamy fresh beachy scent i don't i don't really know how to describe it it just smells really good and i used the face cream and i love the scent of it so i wanted to get this and i like it it cleans my face really well and what i do is i wash my makeup off i use the cleanser then i'll go over with this and then i'll put um face cream on so 
I do, I do like that a lot. And I also got that it was like $6 at the um, Ulta sale. Two more things I got at the Ulta sale is this Too Faced, and I threw out the box already, but I've only used it a bunch of times, this Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the color Candy Glow. Looks like this. And I've wanted to try these for a while. I heard that the first time they first came out, they weren't, um, what is it called? Uh, they weren't pigmented enough, so. But I heard that this time around they are, so I wanted to try it. And as you can see, they are pigmented. I don't love it, and the reason I don't love it is not uh, because of the pigment, but because it's just not... I was hoping it'd be a little bit more pink, and it just doesn't... It just doesn't pop on my cheeks as much as I would like it to. I like it when the cheeks, like right in the middle here, there is like a like a pretty not like it's like a clown make you know not like clown blush, but I like it when you can actually see like the pink. And this is very subtle. It's a little too subtle for me, so I mean I'm gonna use it up. It was about probably like eleven dollars on sale, um, or maybe fifteen instead of thirty. I think it was fifteen. Um, so I'm gonna use it out, but I just was hoping it'll be a little bit um, more, more pink, I guess. I also got the last thing I got are these Purity um, cleansing cloths, and I can tell you, I, I mean, as you can see, I've gone through a lot of them because I wanted to use them up, but I don't like them. I think that they don't really. What I use the cleansing cloths for is to wash off my makeup, especially my mascara. I hate, like, I have really sensitive eyes, so if I use like makeup removing oil and I rub my eyes they really hurt and they get really irritated so I need to take a cloth and just like rub the mascara off and these are just really hard to work with they really don't remove the makeup as much as I would like them to they're not moisturized enough like they're not wet enough I just don't like them so I'm just getting through them and then I'm never gonna buy them again I don't recommend them all right, I got one, two, three more things to show you. Okay, let's start with this. This is the Hourglass um, Strobe lightning, lightning, Lighting Powder, Strobe Lighting Powder in the color Incandescent Strobe Light. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is the strobing powder that like everyone talks about now that Hourglass came up with. So it looks like this. And the powder looks like that and you can't really see it is shimmer you just can't see it but the reason i bought it was because i have the little like contour uh what is a contour palette from hourglass where it has like the three shades two bronzers and one the middle one is this and i always wanted them to come up with just the middle one like as an individual product because i love it so much and i never wanted to get through it and finally they did you really can't see it, but you just have to trust me. It's a really nice shimmery color, and I really like it, and um, I'm really glad they came up with the full size because if I... I mean, I'm almost, like, halfway through this thing in the palette, so when I run out, I don't want to have to rebuy the whole palette. I just wanted just that color the most. So finally, they came up with that, and I'm really glad they did. Then I have um, the Beach... Bobbi Brown perfume and I actually bought this like last VIB sale and I returned it like I didn't even open it I just returned it because I felt guilty that I'm buying another perfume when I have so many um, and then I rebought it because it's been so cold for so long that I thought I need something that smells like the beach I need something that smells really nice that you know like makes me think of the summer and everyone loves it and so I thought you know what let me just buy it again and this time I'm actually using it a lot um, so you can tell there's like a lot of it gone already. Um, it smells literally exactly like the beach, except it has something in there that I didn't like at first and it actually took a minute to get used to it. It's almost like a little like spice. There's something like a little spicy in there and I don't know what it is, but I can't, I really can't put my finger on it to tell you what it is as much as I want to, but I'm, I'm already bad in describing sense, so... It smells, literally once you put it on and you wait like five minutes, it smells exactly like the beach. Like you would smell after spending the whole day at the beach with like the suntan lotion and everything. It smells just like it. So I thought, you know what, let me um, put myself in the summer mood and buy a beachy perfume. And then another perfume that I bought 
I know it's bad it's bad like I need to get through my perfumes before I buy more but I got this bronze goddess Estee Lauder this is the shimmering body oil spray which is not a perfume it's a body oil spray so it technically doesn't count I guess right and I'll show you what it looks like and I cannot even tell you how much I love this it's like I really really love it a lot it's let me shake it so you can see the glitter it looks like this it was about, I think on sale it was $37 and originally it cost like $42. So it is pretty expensive for something that's not a perfume. It is only one ounce. No, 1.5. Okay, so 1.5 fluid ounces. And it smells so freaking good. Like this is the definition of summer to me in a bottle. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkles. You really can't see them when you spray them. When you spray it on, you definitely see them. I spray them like all here and you can see like the little glitter. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Probably, oh wow, you really can't see anything. I don't know why you can't, mm. They're really, really fine little pieces. I can see them. You probably can't um, in the camera, but you have to just trust me. It's there. If you ever go to, I think Macy's has it. I got this at Nordstrom. Nordstrom has it, obviously. Um, I know that Ulta has this perfume. They don't have the, at least online, they don't have the actual, like, body spray, like the oil, but they do have the perfume version of it, and it smells so good. It smells like a creamy, it smells like a beachy scent, but like a creamy beachy scent. If that makes sense and it makes me think of last year when my friend was getting married we went to her bachelorette party at the beach it was like we went down the shore we spent like three days there and we would go we had like a bonfire and stuff and it smells it reminds me just like like of that day exactly I think of that day when I smell this it just smells really warm really warm and creamy beachy scent I might be describing this wrong it's just what I think of and I just love it. I love it and I do wish that the bottle was bigger because I can see myself going through it within like a month. And I'm gonna definitely use it during like the summer dates that I have with my boyfriend and stuff where I'm definitely gonna use it because it reminds me of like summer romance, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't know, but that's what I think of. So that's it for what I purchased, right? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Um... I'm going on a no buy. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy any more beauty, at least for beauty items. I'm not buying any more until probably November the VAB sale because this is like bad. I should stop. But this is my last excuse. You know, I wanted summer stuff for when the summer comes. And so I smell like the summer, even though it's 30 degrees outside. And now I have it. So I have no excuse for buying any more makeup or beauty products until the next sale. And I know, I think the VIB Sephora thing, they send out like this $25 off a of 50 um, coupon in the mail, like in your email, at some point after the spring sale, I think. So I'm probably gonna have to use that up. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's all that I got. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you've tried any of these things, let me know. Also, if I'm using the Purity Cleansing Cloths wrong, let me know too, because I hate them and I would love to love them, but I just, they just don't work for me. So maybe I'm using them wrong. I don't know if you're not supposed to take makeup off with them. Let me know and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.